Hey guys, this is Today I Grew Up doing another video review and today I'm really excited because it came in the mail finally pre-ordered around right before October 21st, 2015 and we are now here in April of 2016, April 11th to be exact and we finally got in the mail for the first time ever the Back to the Future trilogy on vinyl 180 gram by Alan Silvestri original score so I'm really excited because this is the first time Back to the Future fans get the whole trilogy the original score on vinyl as one collection and it came just like this out of the box shrink wrapped and as you can see it is modeling the plutonium case from the movie and on the sides it just kind of follows the design so taking a look at the plutonium handle with care right here on the contents this is Back to the Future Activity, it says Trilogy, Transport Week, Nothing 7, Radioactive, which I hope it's not really radioactive. And here on the spine, um, it says Back to the Future, Part 2 and 3, 1, 2, and 3, Original Score, Composed and Conducted by Alan Silvestri. So that's really cool. The back of the case is also repeating, and that's pretty much the basic design of the box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so I removed the shrink wrap and we're going to discover for ourselves what you get when you order this Back to the Future trilogy on vinyl. Really excited, I have not opened this yet. Let's take out the first one right here. So, wow, this is really cool. I really love the artwork on this. And uh, if you look at the very bottom here, this one says original score composed and, and conducted by Alan Silvestri and it's cool because I'm sure they all say that at the bottom this one's back to the future one let's open it up whoa that is super cool and right off the bat I'm just really I'm taken back by just the colors so vibrant it's so bright there's so many details here in the DeLorean and uh, the clock tower there in the background with the lights. It's really impressive to have something so nice, so colorful, and so modern. It, it just looks very modern. And let's look here at the top. So at the top here, it's going to have all the titling for the different scenes in the movie. And here, obviously, the classic time circuit, um, including, including the destination time, present time, and last time departed. Back to the Future original score, and of course you have all the official, you know, credits and Universal Studios logo. So that's the front and the back for Back to the Future one. So let's go to the first lot and see what's inside. So taking it out, it's just a plain black sleeve, but look at that. I did not even know they were going to be colored like this. This is really nice. So you can see on the B side there's actually the clock. And on the front side it says Back to the Future. And it's got all the appropriate credits. So you know side A and side B. This is the original score from Back to the Future Part 1. And it's a nice marble, marble vinyl. Okay, so let's look at the second slot in here and let's see what color it is this is like a surprise so it's also yellow and just like the other one this one actually has a speedometer on there which is really really cool I like that it has the DeLorean miles per hour gauge speed and this is gonna be the other side so this is side C side D so you have A B C D so it is a double gatefold, double vinyl. It's just really cool to see them together. And you can see that the vinyls have a unique marbled effect. They're each unique. And on the back, flipping them over, same thing, different marbled effect. One has the clock, and one has the DeLorean speedometer. So very cool. That is awesome. So these are the vinyls we have four Back to the Future Part 1 nice yellow nice insert 
and let's look at the second one. Now we're going in order. So next will be Back to the Future Part 2. Probably one of my favorites of the trilogy, personally. I love that they traveled to the year 2015 and the hoverboard and the power laces. I don't know. There's just something about the future, going to the future, that was my favorite thing. Um, as you notice that the the back looks really similar to the first one. Actually, now that I compare the two, this is part. This is from oh, it's a different it's a different color. So this was part one, and I guess it matches more of the colors, but it, it kind of just blends together. It's the same kind of style, and on the front here, it says Back to the Future Two in a different art design, and obviously here in the middle it says Going to October twenty first, two thousand fifteen. Which is really cool. I like that. That's sort of following the movie format. So let's look inside. Whoa, that is really cool. So again, it's it's a similar photo to the part one, except on this one, it has well, I don't see a Mr. Fusion up there. But it has the hoverboard. That is really cool. That's probably my favorite thing so far that I've seen in this thing. So let's open up the vitals now. Let's open up the first one. All right, I think I know what the color is. So this is cool. Let's open it. Nice, this is almost like, on camera it kind of looks pink to me, but in person it looks more like a, yeah, it's like the hoverboard colors. Honestly, I think that's what they're trying to capture here is the hoverboard colors, which is like kind of the pink and green. And here it's kind of like the first vinyl. It's a nice marble. Uh, pink and green so you have here the flux capacitor on the back very nice I love that that was really cool so let's look at the second vinyl inside okay so the second vinyl has the logo from Mr. Fusion and here it has side C and D so this is probably my favorite part of these vinyls is that you have similar designs with slightly different colors and even with the vinyl records themselves they're unique and they're marbling so you're gonna get a little bit different variations um, so that's really cool so this is back to the future part two vinyls okay so moving on to back to the future part three Let's open it up. Okay, so here we have at the top, Back to the Future Part 3, Railroad Tracks, with the fire and the flames, the back very similar, kind of following the colors. It says 1885 this time, going to the wild, wild west. So let's see what it says inside. Whoa, that is cool. So we can do a comparison video at the end, but it's like every vinyl has the same shot except the updated artifacts inside. So this one has Marty McFly's cowboy boots. Here you can see in the back the clock tower is still under construction. It's not even made. That's cool. Alright, let's look at the vinyls inside. Okay, so this is the first vinyl. Wow, this is cool. It's like a it's like a dirt brown. It almost reminds me of the dirt from the desert. So it's kind of, it's very fitting to Back to Future Part 3 because, as you know, there's a lot of dirt. They're in the wild, wild west. And there's no paved roads. So it kind of reminds me of that, and it's marbled as well. I just really like that they, they marbled the vinyls that way, and they look really, really nice So and unique in a way. And all vinyls are going to be a little bit more unique to the marble so this one's cool in the middle it's got kinda like scientific atom thing and I guess on this one is the temperature gauge from the train when they're trying to you know get the steam power going from the log so they're telling it how hot it needed to be to go back to the future alright that was it for part three let's see what else came inside Okay, so the last article that was inside the box was this. It says Materials hand, Handling and Safety uh, by Mondo Company. 
And I guess in here, it's just going to talk about uh, the vinyls a little bit more in deeper detail. Observations and Reminiscence by Bob Gale. So there's a commentary by Bob Gale, which I'm going to enjoy reading that a little bit later. And it's got it's probably some more you know, insider information, how things came to be. Um, here in the back, it's got some more album credits, cool picture of DeLorean, and just some more credits I guess from each score, so this is part two, part three, and that's really neat that they take the time to print this cool little exclusive book um, with a special message from Bob Gale, which I'm going to read later. So that's it. I know this is sold out everywhere, you can probably find it on eBay for a lot of money. But I definitely recommend it if you're a diehard Back to the Future fan, pick it up because who wouldn't want to have these this vinyl box set? First time ever, trilogy on vinyl, all completed, the original score, you got to get it. So really quickly here to recap, here's the part one, gatefold, the cover. Here inside the DeLorean you have the, the 80s camcorder, which is cool. And part two, you see... It's kind of the same thing, except you have the hoverboard from 2015. And the clock tower looks a little different, too. It looks just like the 2015 clock tower with a new design on the front. Very cool. And then we go to part three, which we have the clock tower under construction and the cowboy boots. Very cool. So there you have it. The complete Back to the Future trilogy the original score by alan silvestri all on vinyl six vinyls in all it's worth a hundred over the well i don't know how much they're going for on ebay but i only paid about a hundred bucks for this way worth the money um if you can pick this up definitely do it the last test we have is to play it